my dear brothers and sisters, happy 71st fiesta to each and every one. Happy fiesta! Viva Holy Cross! Viva! Dagan salamat, Brother Noel, and faculty and staff, and the college community for the invitation uh, that that you that you sent me and uh, requested, requesting that I will preside this this holy mass. More than happy to do this. I'm always encouraged, always inspired to come here, especially that that the college is doing very well. Huh? Doing very well in many ways, like for example, now in this present, like two years or three years, we found one beautiful dimension of the life of the college in its 71 years uh, history that we reconnected with Santa Ana Parish, with the parish priest here. I, I think it, that's a beautiful uh, dimension that has been highlighted uh, to come to this shrine parish. Now, Holy Cross, it's it's holy because the one who was crucified uh, is not a, a, a lifeless cross, a cross, uh, walang, walang Christo, a Christless cross, but it's Jesus on the cross. And come to think of it, when we celebrate the feast of Holy Cross in this church, the one who hung for our salvation on that cross is the Apo, the grandchild of Saint Anne. Wow! Dili ni disconnected ba? So, nai, na, nai sense, huh? is the, the, the one that makes that cross, the wood of the cross, holy, is the grandchild of Saint Anne, Santa Anna. Okay. Think about that, huh? You know, the feast of the Catholic Church. Why is Kayo? If we try to discover connection, why is Kayo? Don't, don't, again, I keep repeating, don't believe many in the YouTube, in online, mga brato, very cheap, mga tirada. No, we, we are wonderful. The celebrations, we care to know the background, wonderful. Now, perhaps many of you would know. By the way, who are newcomers, students? Please raise your hand. Uh, please tell mga newcomers. Are there newcomers? Please. Wala? Oh, all old timers? <laughs> mga sick. Ah, yeah, yeah, yes. Oh, your first time to celebrate the Fiesta of Holy Cross. Uh, welcome. And, and those newcomers uh, live stream. Uh, Kani ang kini ang fiesta sa college. We think today of the PME missionaries. For those of you who not know, they were French Canadians, mga French pero Canadians. Ang ilang head si Archbishop Clovis de Bo when this was founded 71 years ago. You go to San Pedro Cathedral. You go down na ang tomb of Archbishop Clovis de Bo. Uh, the Archbishop at that time, he he led the PMA missionaries at that time. And then one of the, unsa atong sam? Remember the works of the Lord. Aha, uh -huh. the works of the Lord to the PMA missionaries. Ang foundations of school. So maybe pas pas kaya ako nga. So uh, one way of connecting, you go to the tomb of of Archbishop Clovis de Bo who, again, led the PME missionaries in founding this college 71 years ago. Now, you know also, paatas pa, the, not this college, but this fiesta, quickly, like it began uh, on the year 335, 335 AD. That means a good counting, like in most in the early 4th century, it began. 
Because in the map, don't think of Rome, think of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, now in Israel, Jerusalem. The mother of the emperor, Constantine, who was very convert, but she converted way before Constantine, she became a devout Catholic. And, and to make a long story short, one of her, one of her desire is to discover, to find the cross where Jesus was nailed, was crucified. Because the news was, it is kept. It is there. Let me do. So, with her, with her uh, uh, influence as a mother of the emperor in Jerusalem, she, she, uh, led the search for the cross and they found it and they built a church on the site and on 335 335 AD was the dedication was the blessing of the church that is why that that date of the blessing of the church where they found the true cross uh, became a big fiesta in the, that area of the church, but soon it spread throughout the world. But why? Why is it that we have kept this beautiful thing? I call it thing. The, the cross of Christ. Oh, why? Maybe we have, we have answers, but it, it, and why is it that the PME fathers, repeat that, 71 years ago, when they thought of, of starting a school, this college, why is it that they thought among many, shall we say, countless names, they thought of dedicating the church to the Holy Cross of the Lord? Now, Holy Cross of Davao College. The reason is so deep. The reason is so solid. The reason is not peripheral. The reason is right at the center of our faith. Huh? Expedem veritatim, our faith. Now, faith and truth. Let's, let's see it now. Now, let's begin. Number one. Number one, truth coming from faith. X, freedom. Two, ad veritatem. What is that? From our faith, we're here today. But Bishop, what's my, what's my clarity? What's my articulate now? Unsay, from faith to truth. But truth, not ideas. Huh? Remember the works of the Lord. These are not thesis. These are not beautiful ideas. Works of the Lord. Deeds of the Lord. What are those? What are those? Now, we go to the number one. Right at the center of our faith. The truth right at the center of our faith. Very famous line from the gospel today. For God, this is the center of the fiesta. Wow, fiesta, holy cross. But what, what is the truth in this? Number one. For God, the famous line of St. John, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son. Let's stop there. Bluntly said, Are we worth loving? Look, I, I, can, I can look at Are we worth loving? Is Romolo worth loving? I know myself. Are we worth loving? Nindut unta another place is saying for Nindut unta lovable ta. Don't get disappointed. Mga dagway na to ay. Mga nahuna na to ay. Mga ambisyon na to ay. How many times you have hurt other people so that we will survive? Nothing lovable in general. But for God so loved the world. Meditate on that, the cross. So loved the world. Bisan, sa bulanon pa, wa tay nahot. 
Mapai tangkung sa bagi orang ke green. Oh. Ah. Di tak angai di kita green. Mau kaya tak way pilih. So love the world that he gave his only son. So that he who believes, fear him, faith, faith. Ah. In him might not perish. But might have eternal life. That is the truth. When we say Holy Cross of Davao, we remember today, right at the very center of our pagtuo, the essence of our pagtuo, not because we are able to go to God, not that we are good, we are okay, God will notice us, simply, God so loved us, even if wala pa tayo steps to love Him, so loved us that He sent, He gave His only Son who hung on the cross. And what is there that God saw in our situation that rattled Him? You heard it like rattled God because we were among the demalas in life. We were heading towards death. D E A T H. That is our palad to death. That is our fate. If A T E, mau na tanan mau matay. Even how great you are, how how perfect you know in life, we will die. No future. And God, in His love for us, targeted the worst enemy of man. And here I'd like to use the words of then, then, then pa Bishop Tagle of Imos. I heard it when he was still a Bishop of Imos in a funeral mass in Tagaytay. He said, Jesus Embrace death for us. Nobody would embrace, nobody would dare because then death was a sure thing. Our worst enemy, and then Jesus, the only Son of God, embraced death for us. <laughs> Mauna, I stopped there. We who are familiar with the story, Good Friday, silang tanan na wirla, na nagan, na tarantar, maura man, hindi pa embrace, embrace yung death, pili mata, na matay man siya. Disciples of Emmaus, ingon sila, tolo ka alaw na namatay, baho na kain na. Yet, he embraced death for us, and he rose from the dead. He embraced death and made death powerless. So therefore, the destination of man is not any more death if we follow Jesus. That is the man banner of Holy Cross of Davao College. <coughs> that is the truth. We believe in what? The deed. Singular, the deed of Jesus on the cross. He embraced death for us. And to tell you, many people who are so <coughs> swerte in their life, so believing, so trusting in the Lord, that they would, with a smile, I'd like to die now. I'd like to meet my Savior now. Because for them, the words of St. Paul, death has no more stinking, no more poison, wala nang venom ang death because of the Holy Cross. That's why we say, Viva Holy Cross! Viva! Now, ikaduha, Ay mo tanapalit yun na kanagtayo na siyang rilo. Ay lang, oh. Ikaduha, 
But Jesus, for Holy Cross of Davao College, kamong nag sa Holy Cross, malipay ta. Because of number one truth, we have Jesus. But ikaduha, that Jesus, apo ni Saint Anne, said, you want to have life? Carry your own cross. That's the second truth. Okay. Abi ni mo smiley na. Di man di. Carry your own cross. Meaning, Holy Cross of Dabao College with Brother Noel now with beautiful, great faculty. One way or another. Forget about algebra. Wala, wala pa na. Wala pa na. Wala English. Wala pa na. Wala pa na computer. Ha? Computer. May pero ta na. Algebra. May pero ta. Makurap ta na. Ha? Uh, wapana, wapana. But the first order of Holy Cross is to teach us, to inspire us, to carry our own Holy Cross. Meaning also to inspire one another to be brave, to be like Jesus, never afraid of suffering, to do good. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of this, very simple, on the second point, carry your own cross. Kaanindot ba? Panani, wish lang, brother. Kaanindot pa sa Holy Cross students? Ato ato ara ni ba? Di ko matanao nila. Kaanindot ba nga? One student who thinks he is a bit okay sa class, a bit okay sa money gamay na isubra, one example, one student would, in his own way, go out of her or his comfort zone and spot one or two classmates in the class and be there for him and for her. That is his cross in the college. Kanindot ba, ha? Kanindot ba? Dili lang. Ako mo work, excellent ko, okay kay ko, very good. But at the same time, ang load niya would be not in a hilas way, corny way, but just look after one or two students who are struggling. Kaninot ba? Ah, this this is not condescending. If sikreto lang, start looking around for somebody struggling. And maybe you observe him. Maybe lang at times escaping lunch or no good supper or dinner. You discover that it is true for this student. How about silently, no publicity? You gather some friends. And from time to time, give her something para makakaun o maayon. To carry our own cross. Not in Holy Cross. So, meaning, meaning, mabalita ang atmosphere at the Holy Cross of Davao College, true to its patron, titular niya, they try to carry their own cross in life, in love for other people. How about teachers? Ako nakatundog mo ko. Ah, nice sacrifice. Pero pwede in this way. Daghana ni chika na. Or pita ni. Oral exam ko. Pasal? Okay. Muna yung habok na ko. But suppose we try to see kaluoy ni Romulo Valles. Di man makapasar ni. Then additional pain. An extra mile. Why ka ni bata di makapasar? Pwede ang hago, trabaho lang, di makapasar sa exam. But suppose a faculty member of Holy Cross would go an extra mile, her own cross, to give extra time to a student who is struggling. 
and you would feel that in this college there is truly the spirit of the love of the one who hung on the cross. All of this, my dear friends, one item, second item, really is good news, beautiful news when you are studying in Holy Cross of Davao College. This fiesta is indeed our inspiration to do better, to do good, to be Christ-like, to be Jesus on the cross. Lastly and thirdly, that Jesus before on Holy Thursday evening, before the following day, he carried his cross. He left us a beautiful way to remember, to inspire us, to move us, to challenge us, to carry our own cross. And he said, do this in memory of me. That is why in Holy Cross of Davao College, the Misa, the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, the Holy Eucharist, is really, like now, is really making us close, very close to the one who hung on the cross. He said, do this in memory of me. When you are in doubt that we are so much loved, first truth, when we are weakened and discouraged when we try to carry our own cross and show love to others, we come to the Eucharist, do this in memory of me, to be fed, to be encouraged, to be there with Jesus, who I'm convinced in my faith, ex fidem ad veritatem, I'm convinced in my faith that goodwill, personal struggle, they're all good. But it is only with Jesus, when we sit down at table with him in his Holy Eucharist, that we are truly fed, that we are truly strengthened, that we are, as I have said here at one time, we are truly Christified. We become Christ-like and therefore, in God's, in the Lord's mysterious ways, after Mass, after the Eucharist, after Misa, we are somehow energized to take up again and carry our own cross. And therefore, if this is true in the community and family, both students and faculty members, if this is true, then truly we can be at least silently be proud and thank the Lord that in this college of how many thousands? 9,000 plus students, faculty members, that is no joke. It's a huge 9,000. We can sense, we can smell, we can feel, we can experience the power and beauty and strength of the Holy Cross of Jesus our Savior. Viva Holy Cross! Viva! Viva Holy Cross of Davao College! Viva!